It was great. It was amazing. It was, uh, I was a little nervous at first, uh, of course, because, you know, such an amazing cast and I just wanted to do as, as well as them because they're, they, you know, they're extremely experienced. They've been in this longer than I have. And Hi, so, so, Sophia, Sophie. <laughs> Hi, Sorry. Jenna. Hi, Peter. Peter. Hi. Hi. Thank, thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure to be talking to you both. Oh, you bet. Yes, of course, the beautiful movie has a lot of heart and has a happy ending, which is like amazing. <laughs> For you, it's, it's Sophie, what was about, Sophia, what was about the script when you read the script? What was about the script that got your attention? I, I just I just felt like it was so different from the other scripts that I've read, especially at that time. Um, it was definitely a good change of pace. I kept getting a lot. I, I do get a lot of, you know, very you know edgy dark roles where it's just like I, I I would like to a little bit of a change and this was perfect um I mean this the story was amazing the message was great um the way it was written was beautiful and the characters and their relationships were so real and something I really wanted to be a part of and um also it certainly helped was Alan Ball was a part of it and I love loved six feet six feet under so um, that was great. I couldn't, there was no, no reason to uh, say no. No, exactly. It's perfect. I think it's beautiful. And for you, Peter, uh, what was like the importance to be part of a project like this, that, that, as I said, has a, a happy ending. It's a beautiful story. And, mm. and for you, what was the import, important? Well, it, it was obviously great for all the reasons that Sophia has mentioned. But uh, in addition, I'd like to say that uh, it's uh, original in the sense that it's about a couple, a gay couple, uh, a gay couple's life that doesn't end up in tragedy. They don't break up, no one dies, you know, and which sends the message that there's a hopeful, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. It's, a, it's you know, hopeful, it's positive. Uh, life is full, filled with surprises and good things. It's not always tragic. And that's what I like about the movie the most, actually, the fact that it ends on a, on a very positive note. Yeah. Did I answer your question? Yes, you did. Of course. Okay. Yes, you did. And and Sophie, for you, like to be working like with this amazing cast, Paul, Peter, uh, everybody. How was like how's how's like the dy dynamic on set? It was great. It was amazing. It was uh, I was a little nervous at first, uh, of course, because you know such an amazing cast, and I just wanted to do as as well as them because they're they you know they're extremely experienced. They've been in this longer than I have, and so they're kind of like, you know, in my days back when I was your age, I was doing blah blah blah, and I <laughs> got, got me a little nervous, thinking like, oh god, um, I don't I haven't done that yet. Um, so, but they were really nice to me. <laughs> I, and I think I learned a lot just by watching them work. Yeah. And uh, Peter, I like your character too, because he has like, he's very happy. He's a like very happy person, very religious at the same time. Mm -hmm. And also I want to mention that what happened with like this, this community on, in other countries, not just in the U.S. is very, is very bad. Like they, they lock people, they like, especially here i'm in brazil so they kill people mm -hmm. and 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 for you like how, do you have anything to say about it like of the course yeah. a lot of things to say about it i myself um you know i'm an immigrant i guess a transplant whatever you want to call it and i come from the middle east and uh, uh i'm not muslim i'm catholic but nevertheless i have a certain affinity to the muslim culture because i'm from that region and to me, to have a character like Wally, to portray Wally, uh, who is Muslim and who is gay at the same time, and proving that they both could coexist, one doesn't deny the other, was very, very uh, original, I think. That was very refreshing. It was something we've never seen before uh, on screen. And, uh, and the fact, I mean, I like the fact that in addition to Beth, Wally is the one behind Frank, uh, Frank's journey going back home. He's his support. He's so steadfast by him, and he wants him to come out for his family to his family because he knows that Frank could do it, and the repercussions would be minimal compared to his to him, where he couldn't come out to his family and even like being in 
in his country being gay and living in Saudi Arabia because he says they would behead me. Um, so I have tremendous amount of compassion uh, and admiration. Uh, well, I admire him a lot, the character a lot, because he's so courageous. And courageous to me is being positive and happy and, and giving and generous. That's what makes a man a man, in my opinion, the ability to, to be that way, yeah. So I learned a lot from him. <laughs> yeah, I think we are we all did. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, yeah, that's amazing. You know, thank you so much, Peter. Thank you so much, Sophie, for your time and a lot of success. And I cannot wait for everybody to watch and go. Oh, thank you, Jenna. Thank you. Thank nice you. you. Yes, Bye. of course. Bye. <laughs> If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.